This is a too long didn't watch introduction to Mythic Plus dungeons. These are dungeons of scaling difficulty similar to the Greater Rifts in Diablo 3. How you'll get into them is by using a keystone that you will randomly get out of the end of a normal Mythic dungeon. This keystone can be for any dungeon, and the first one you get will be at a level 2. To start a Mythic Plus dungeon, you slot your keystone into the Fauna Power at the beginning of the dungeon that it's assigned to. Warning, make sure everyone is there and ready before starting this. There's no way to restart once it begins. After a 10 second countdown, your mythic dungeon will start. You're timed going through these, so you gotta go fast. Note that these dungeons do not have any drops on the way, and instead have chests at the end of the dungeon that you open. So the faster you go, the more chests you get. Also, you still get gear if you don't finish, so if you have a bad pull, don't leave. Don't be that guy. If you don't complete it within the time, your keystone will get depleted. The only way to resupply these keystones is to run the dungeon again. No, you won't get gear for this run. Kinda sucks. When you do beat the time by any amount, you'll get a higher rank keystone based on how fast you went. This keystone will also be for a random dungeon. And you do get gear for every one of these that you do, so you can essentially chain these infinitely for loot. And I know I said you want to go fast, but you have to kill a certain amount of mobs for each dungeon. We'll go over those limits in each of the individual guides. Certain affixes will also start to appear on your keys of level 4 and higher. Level 4 to 6 keystones will have one affix, 7 to 9 will have two affixes, and 10 and up will have a third affix that's different from the rest. I'll let Ryan explain these. When an enemy dies, they'll give another enemy the bolster buff, giving them 20% more damage, and health. This can stack multiple times, so you need to pull small or have a lot of AoE. This does not affect the mobs that will spawn during a boss fight, but if you bring an add into a boss fight, it will give the bolster buff, so be careful. For necrotic, melee attacks will apply the necrotic rot debuff to the hit player, lowering the healing done and the absorption by 3%. This does stack, so pull carefully. Now for overflowing. When a player is overhealed, the enemy will have a debuff called overflow. This will give the enemy a shield that will last a minute or until the shield is broken. So healers, now it's time to whip out your fat DPS. On Enrage, the enemies will enrage at 30% health, causing them to deal 100% more damage. Single target is highly recommended for this one. Sanguine is really simple. Whenever an enemy dies, it will spawn a sanguine pool of ichor below its feet. Move out of the way, and you'll be perfectly fine. Skittish will cause tanks to produce less threat. DPS, be careful not to AoE too much, and focus down one target at a time. Things like misdirection and tricks of the trade Will be very useful here. Also, small pools. On Volcanic, Volcanic Plumes will spawn beneath the player's feet. You have two seconds to move out. Failure to move out will deal 50% of the player's health. Three melee DPS would not be a good choice. For teaming, mobs will spawn at random packs that are pulled. Mass pulling is not recommended for this one. Fortified will be one of the third affixes on your 10 plus key. Enemies will have 20% more health and deal 40% more damage. Rotate your stuns, have a lot of AoE. Tyrannical is your other option for your 10 plus key. All bosses will have 30% more health and deal 30% more damage. Kite the bosses and have two good tanks with you.